This is a take and make from Rodman Branch. We want to show you how we're going to make a candle and we're going to mod podge the outside, put glitter on it. Then you will attach, um, use your string here and you're going to attach beads to it and then you'll place your candle in it and you'll have a completed take and make. The first thing you want to do is take your string and we're going to get this kind of ready before we have all the glue and everything on it. So you're going to just, just make a tie on it up towards the top like that. And you're going to take you in in your cup you have one small bead like this there's a either a white one or a pink one so you want to put that on like that and what you're going to do is feed this string through there and it's just going to make it a pretty uh, bead there for it for the top instead of tying it in a plain old knot and have a knot show there so you're going to feed it actually feed it through and it it should go with having a thread in there already so you pull that through like that and then you're going to just kind of pop this on here and we're just getting this kind of ready because it's kind of hard to put this on once all the glitter's on it. And then you just kind of pull that tight and you can see how that kind of locks in place there. So we're, we've got this kind of ready the way you want it. And then just set that aside for a little bit later. And then we're going to move on to painting this with the Mod Podge. So the first step will be to put Mod Podge on the outside of your glass. And you're just going to Put a small amount on it. You're not going to do the bottom, just to, just the edge, just the top of it. And you want to put it on, not super thick, but so that the glitter is going to stick to it. And you just want to come down to the edge where it sits. that will work once you have it the way you want it on all the edges we'll set this aside and we're just going to take our glitter and start putting glitter on it and then you're going to just let that sit and dry. And don't worry about the brush marks, they're going to dry clear. And I would, I would use a piece of something on your table so you don't get glitter everywhere.
Once you get this covered the way you want it, then you just let that sit and dry overnight and then we'll come back and do a next step. So I'm just going to let it sit now and dry. So I wanted to tell you when you're all done with your brush and you have some glue on it, this just needs washed out with soap and water and then you can reuse this brush again. Okay, so now remember how we had this, we've got it painted, it came dried real nice, it's real pretty. Now we want to set this on here, and I think the easiest way to do it is just to put some glue on your finger, some Mod Podge, and get this sticky. It'll dry clear, and that way it'll stick on your jar, and we aren't going to disturb the, all the glitter. And I put a little drop, extra drop here at the knot. Let me just set that there for a second and wipe off my hands. I'll be right back. Okay, so we've got this gluey. We're just gonna set this on here. And that way you're not disturbing the jar very much. And then I just let this sit for a second and let it dry good. And it's nice and snug there. We'll just let that dry for a minute and then we'll start putting our beads on. So we'll come back to that in a minute. So now you're, it, this is set up and on there real good and you can see it dried clear. Now you just wanna string on your beads and you can put it on however you want, use as however many you want. Um, we put some Mod Podge on the end of these to help secure the this end. So if, if it starts fraying, cut it and put some glue on it, let it dry, and then um, you'll be able to feed it through real well. And you can put as many beads on there as you like or whatever colors you want. You have plenty of beads to do that. So we'll be back when I have that done. I'll show you what we do to finish it up. So whenever you've got as many beads on there as you'd like, you could put them all the way up if you want. You can do it however you want. And then just simply tie a knot at the end so that they stay on. And you can make it as long as you want or as short as you want. And then I just secure the knot. Now you can leave the ends on there or you can cut them off with a pair of scissors, whatever you choose. And then all you have to do is place your candle in and you have your very lovely Valentine make, take and make.